So the knack of this exercise, this sidelining scissor shift, is the pelvis and the lower back need to be rounded somewhat like that. Okay, so this is me being straight through my back. It doesn't even want straight, it wants actually to be rounded like that. Okay, that's really important. Then as I do the, the shift of the knee, so the left knee slides backwards, the pelvis needs to stay in this position. What we don't want at all is the pelvis to go into extension like this. And quite often, and the pattern the body is stuck in generally, is when you slide that left hip back, the body actually goes into that pattern to do it. So it won't get the result, okay? So we want the body to already be in a bit of a flex position, a bit of a rounded position through the lower back. And then when you pull the hip back, it stays in that rounded position. So from the side, that's what this looks like. So I've got a pillow under my head. I've got my knees up 90, deg 90 degrees, at the, uh, the hips at 90 degrees and knees at 90 degrees here. So with that position to start, I've got a, a, a towel between my knees here, so I can squeeze. And the first part, all I want to do is to get the roundedness through my lower back. And then once I can feel that, so you can even play with it, let the back arch, let that round that way. And it's not by making the abs really tight, you just let your body lay in a rounded position. Then I slide my left knee back. So the pelvis will look like it's uh, here and it goes back like that. So I pull that back while keeping this round. Then I squeeze the, the towel for five seconds. And I let it off. And I'll do that again. So I pull back and I'm using the left adductor. So the, the high adductor here, you'll feel this muscle work pretty hard and you want to make your awareness go to here to use this muscle because that's the one that pulls the hip back that we want to use to pull back. So you're just practicing getting the knack of that motion because we use it with the next lot of PRI exercises. Uh, at this stage, doing reps of three to five and do that once or twice and just do it you're laying your bench you just get the knack of it that when you pull your hip back you're using that adductor and your back doesn't go into extension it stays rounded